Oh, so you did click the link and check out part two. Nice. Everybody that did, you know, you guys are my loyal subscribers, obviously. But if you haven't seen part one yet, make sure not to watch this video because it's going to give everything away. Make sure to go back to part one. I'll put the link, pa, right here, I think. Hopefully that magic made it appear. And uh, make sure to go back there, watch that, like that, then come back and like this one. I'm finishing up my episode, and uh, I'm actually going to talk about some stuff at the end. So, yeah, here you guys go when it comes down to it because most of them have you know basically the same stats and it's just personal preference basically uh, moving over to Cassano um, I already talked about him a little bit but uh, he is definitely a five-star skill player really good uh, for subbing up front and you know he's just a good all-around uh, forward he's not that fast but he makes up for it with his dribbling and his passing and you know you really can't go wrong with him I don't know if I said how much Risa was uh, actually priced. He's under a thousand. I just want to let you guys know. Sorry about that. If I miss anybody else, just let me know. Um, moving on to Menez, he's in my backup center attacking mid, and I don't have him in a center mid because there's not very many of these guys out here in five two two ones. Um, he's really cheap, actually under a thousand coins, and he does have the eighty seven dribbling, eighty six pace. He's more like a striker in a midfielder spot, and I really like him. He does score a lot of goals for me. It seems like even though he only has a seventy two shot. Mbino, I already talked about him. Anywhere from 1 to 3K, 5-star skill player. Um, Pastore, he is another 4-star skill player. 88 dribbling, 79 pace, and 83 passing. Pretty beast. Um, I'm surprised he's only an 82, and he's really good. I got him for, uh, I think, 1,500 coins, so he's pretty cheap as well. He can be a good um, replacement for either Schneider or Cambiasso, and I do have a lot of midfielders just to uh, you know get some subs in. And then finally, Zanetti. He's uh, my backup right wing back. He's a... Uh, you know, your basic right wing back, if you don't do the little uh, thing that I do, you need a backup for my cone, and he's your man. He can play right wing back, he can play left wing back, and uh, he's just a solid all around back. So basically, guys, there's the team. Um, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment on what you guys think. If you guys have any suggestions for anyone building a team like this, make sure to let me know um, down in the comments. And of course, I always respond to all your comments, so you got to leave those comments. And, uh, you know, I'm so I'm so proud of my last video, guys. You guys are liking it like crazy. I love that. I love all the support you're showing. So make sure to keep showing it. I love seeing those emails on my phone that somebody's subscribing or somebody's commenting. So that's all you guys. That's all you guys. That's all I got to say. So I really appreciate it. And uh, my French team is going to be coming up soon, guys. I really want to make a video on them because they are beastly. I love them. And uh, this Serie A team definitely gave me a great little fun time. Definitely fun building them. They're really beastly, as you guys can see. A lot of five-star skill players. So if you're looking for a really good pace team and a team with a lot of five-star and four-star skill players, Serie A is your bet. So anyways, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm Jacketech45, signing out. Peace.